Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Old Sarge Collects. Yesterday I did a SGC reveal where I got this card returned to me. Uh, this is the 1885 trade card, uh, number 22 baseball uh, advertisement card for JJ Foster and company. Now the reason why I wanted to do a short video on this card is because I believe that this card has significant historical value for uh, baseball card collecting and, and the hobby uh, and the history of baseball. And so uh, I wanted to go ahead and get started uh, by telling you the story about this card and about uh, you know my experience uh, doing the research on this card. So I uh, purchased this card on eBay. Um, you know I've had some mixed results with SGC in the past where I bought some some random cards uh, and I didn't think that they were going to be graded. So. I took a chance on this one. Um, I did use a, a, a loop and, and verify that, you know, um, the the age of this card was uh, was up there um, based off of you know the printing and everything. Um, so uh, I started doing some research when I received the card. I noticed that it was from Pittsfield, and I didn't know where Pittsfield was. So I, uh, uh, you know, Googled Pittsfield. Uh, JJ Foster's I, I googled um, 75 North Street Pittsfield and that's where I really got the biggest um, hit so uh, 75 North Street Pittsfield I got a return for Pittsfield Massachusetts and uh, So I was able to verify that I found the uh, current address of 75 North Street Pittsfield which today is a uh, uh, Today is a place called the Central Block and it's a shopping center um, but at the time of this card, it was owned by J.J. Foster and Company, the combination clother, clothers and hatters. Um, so again, this is an advertisement card uh, for, for that. And as you can see on the back, it's got some uh, information, some details about the grand opening of J.J. Foster's uh, on September 19th, 1885. Uh, it's got some other uh, information there. So uh, flipping this card back around, let me let me tell you about you know my research and what I found, and, and it might change the way you think about baseball and, and the history of baseball. So I believe that collectors uh, are interested in you know the history of baseball, and you won't really find investors being interested or caring about the history of baseball, but uh, I believe collectors will be. And so uh, most of us collectors were told that. You know, Abner Doubleday um, from Cooperstown, New York, invented the game of baseball in 1839. And uh, that's kind of the, the story that, you know, baseball stuck with. Um, you know, that provided the rationale for baseball, for the baseball centennial celebrations in 1939, uh, which also included the opening of the National Baseball Hall of Fame. Uh, and uh, then I, I ran across this card. I, I didn't think of anything, you know, anything else uh, about the history of baseball or, or its you know, origin. And then I ran across this card and, um, and Pittsfield, Massachusetts. So uh, what I learned when I, when I uh, started doing research was that there was a, uh, column, uh, a columnist by the name of John, uh, John Thorne who uh, is also a baseball historian, and he ran across, in doing his own research, he ran across a bylaw that was written in 1791 in Pittsfield, Massachusetts. And the bylaw, uh, this was in 2004, by the way, um, and I don't think it's been widely published. So the bylaw uh, basically uh, states uh, it's from the book, The History of Pittsfield in Berkshire County, Massachusetts, from the year 1734 to the year 1800. So that predates Abner, Dumbleday, um, and it says the bylaw intended to protect the exterior of the newly built meeting house there in Pittsfield, particularly its windows, barred, and this is in quotation, any game of wicket, cricket, baseball, bat ball, football, cat, fives, or any other game played with ball within 80 yards of the structure. So if uh, Abner Dumbleday uh, invented the game of baseball in 1839, and now we're finding 
1791 document that uh, our bylaw uh, that states baseball, it quotes baseball. Uh, I believe that's reason to argue that um, baseball has been around the United States for a very long time, longer than uh, the origin that everybody knows today. And uh, clearly, it at least goes back to 1791 uh, here in the U.S., and, and that's not long after, um, you know, our battle of independence and, and our, our country was formed. And, and, you know, honestly, the United States of America was still in its infancy at that time. So uh, it makes you wonder, you know, how long has the, the game of baseball really been in the U.S.? Um, you know, it's, it's gone by many different names, um, and we all believe that it originated from the game of rounders. But, um, you know, here it is being called baseball in 1791. So uh, I encourage you to go do your own research. Uh, look up Pittsfield, Massachusetts. Look up its history in, involving baseball. It's got a really great history about baseball and, and a lot of uh, great um, Hall of Famers come from Pittsfield where they have they have a lot of different uh, minor league teams in Pittsfield so or they did at one point and so a lot of Hall of Famers come from Pittsfield I just encourage you to go uh, you know do some research check out Pittsfield um, and this is one of the reasons why I love this card it has now become one of my most prized cards it may not be worth a lot but it's one of my most prized cards because I believe it represents more about the founding of and the history of baseball in America than really any other card. So uh, go check it out for yourself. And again, um, thanks for watching. Bye.